story so far. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head inside here. Ah. We're gonna head inside here, we're gonna clear out this area, then we're gonna get the pirate ship. everything we can with that. Hopefully we'll clear this world out and get to the final boss today. There isn't that much more to this game, as far as I can tell. Uh, anyway, yes, don't, don't mind me, I'm just... Old this space. Anyway, there's a secret here. Last pirate treasure. Are, this, are these pirate treasures? Is this what that um, Air Force Gemini lady was after? She said she wanted to steal a treasure from a, an artifact. Dude. world is that there are froggers living in what seems to be like the blown up remains of a planet. Little space stations and whatnot. They're kind of recovering from a war, preparing for another one. Um, to steal an artifact from these guys. I feel like we can expand on that. So we get a sequel to this. Uh, yeah, probably a bigger picture missing here. But yeah, the, this world is pirate themed and there's secret pirate treasures throughout the game. As well as pirate ship with the open level is. First four book worlds. Just got a little bit more to do in here. 
too much of a struggle. Anyway, yeah, so... Story so far. One book, the rewrite the universe, it's on board a pirate ship. The, the space pirate ship. We crashed. Like, on the outside valley. Um, jungle area. The Dripwreck Creek. And there's some evil, um... It's an evil booksellers organization. Well, actually, it was like a just kind of a. I don't know. Go the wrong way. I don't think we're down here. Okay. So, yeah, there was a business. I got to the valley, I got taken yeah. over. Some dudes are wandering around the universe. Yeah, we all know that much. Anyway, so there's a bunch of little magic book worlds, um, and they all have little pirate treasures in them. Apparently, they're all linked together in some way. We have to... So there's nothing to the left, there's no collectibles there as far as I can see. We have to be careful for one of the collectibles. Well, be salty, screw that up. Progress is being made. Um, it's time we get it together. Um, This world has my second, I'd say my second favourite transformation in the game.
I'm not sure if we'll get everything cleared out in this episode. We'll get most of this world done though. Ghost. Save a lot of this stuff for later on. Let's take a moment just to find the scenery and the stars. I mean, look at this. This game is gorgeous. Where are we headed? Terrifying. Skybox. Ruins. <laughs> Ruins of Island. Um, this is, this is beautiful. Yep. Um. Just gonna chill out for a bit. So yeah, we're gonna clear out all the obstacles. Do the boss fight and all the bits and pieces we need this transformation for. Oh, 
Oh dear. Like that. Inside the furries will probably be even worse than that. If we all leave each other over John Tron. Oh dear. No. What's that? Oh dear. Yes, yes, it's true. Loves you. Not right now. Kill. But once you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. I mean, as long as you don't have any hold ups, I haven't had so far in this race. Um, as long as it's smooth sailing, um, probably win. Bug, you guys should watch Future Planet. It's one 
my favourite Disney movies ever. It's good. I like it. Ah yes, let's, let's get it over and done with. Bizarre, bizarre mini boss. This fell is friendly.
this. Um, I have a lot of stuff in the pipeline um, I want to play. After this, as I said, I'm going to be playing um, Top, the one of the game, owner studio, top notch and stuff. So I can't wait to play that. Then uh, it's Bioshock, I think. Um, then, then Star Wars Battlefront 2, original, actual, real by usual recommendations. Um, I hope you guys appreciate the sacrifices I make for them. Just, just kidding. Um, um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to play. But sometime down the line, I will be playing some of the stuff. I know some old Eureka. Eh, some old Eureka games. And. Um. Oh dear. I kinda had bullets coming. fellas. Got him. Ain't got time for your nonsense today, buddy. goes on too long. I might try and clear out everything in this episode and then I'll save um I'll say I'll save the final boss for the next episode. It'll be a short one. What I like to do is do long videos no one has the patience for. I mean I don't like well, that's the thing. It's true. It's, I've got a lot of oblivious. I like to watch shorter videos. I'm gonna watch a long live stream or um, usually an archive. I'm not good at. Depending on time. 
areas. A couple of areas I've got to clear out. Oops. There's a couple of areas I've got to clear out. Then go back to the ship. Take that boss. We'll see how we're doing for time. Do. Oh, actually, we need to start collecting major pieces. We'll grab them, um, get over to that island underneath the lighthouse, and then we'll get back to. Um, after that, we'll get back up to the boss of this world. Oh, 
Yeah. That's my favourite music. It has the best, probably, I'd say the best, um, the best Minecraft music, so it's that, at least.
But just have more stuff now. Um. Oh, far out. Oh, I mean, that's the last energy extender. So. So, um, let's say. Last energy extender. Last quills. Um, but all the quills, all the fast riders, all the health and energy boosts. Um, I think, well, I think we've played all the mini games. Played out the first four worlds. Single quill trick now. Hey, listen out. Oh, <laughs> 
something over here. I feel like this is why you put your thumbs on top here. You know. That is lots of tiny, easily missable things.
don't feel particularly heroic. Hey, listen. Look, there's, there's memes. So yeah, that I'm just about to do the final boss now. Oh yeah. On to the final boss. Unsurprisingly, there's going to be another quiz. I feel like I can understand why people don't like the quizzes, because, like, the original two Banjo games, even the nuts and bolts, they saved the quiz. Yeah, they saved the quiz to the very end of the game. There wasn't, there wasn't any hint of it beforehand. Random. Not you don't quite guess that's where the game is going, but it's fun. Now they've got three separate ones in this game. It just comes off as random. There's a little tank pack. That's his name from now on. Because he literally. He literally, um. Took Don Kong's role in the game, so. I don't mind the puzzles, they're pretty easy. They're enjoyable enough. But. Yeah, it's as original. Well, I know my exact totals for all the collectibles in the game. Oh, that's an easy one too. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a So, uh, that was an unfair penalty, those last two. Because those were effectively the right answers. That's it. It really wasn't. None of these questions are that tough.
Based off um, mutual <laughs> surrender. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, he's based. He's kind of based off the what's his face? Bed sign just on his bed for a day. Oh, 
We're already on the list again. Ah! Absolute toady.
Hello there. That's where it gets really crafty. Take him on in a minute. First things first. I don't want that. Oh. <laughs> 
Butterflies. This tonic will be handy once we get your hands on it. Yeah, this is just the same as the last phase. He shoots you as bees at you too. Position. The fly. Maybe I should have missed the power meter. There hasn't been many butterflies I've seen. But, uh, Oh, 
I'll fire out. before I went on the other side, because after that the game played out. Yeah. 
Ending there, in terms of you can see all the characters together on the place. Just speeding it up. This is 
use all the Kickstarter packers. This game pays like two million dollars or something. I don't know. I don't know how the game budgets work. I don't know. It's a good deal. It's a bit much or not enough. Especially on Steam, it's like $50, but you can get out for a pretty good price on sale now, I think. Yeah, I think you can get the original Banjo of the games for like $20 on Xbox Live, so I think that's about a fair price for this game. $50 is. Kind of. Not that I have it. Not that I don't have I don't think any huge issues with it. There hasn't been any news on a sequel. I know the devs, as far as I know, they're still working on the shader to make it look like a Nintendo 64 game. That's going to be one of the times you unlock the computer machine. But, um, I was going to say. Yeah, there hasn't been any news on Playtonic Rift the game. They have appeared in a couple of other games. Like, I, think, I think they're in Brawlout. It's not the game I own, never played much of. It's like a Smash. It's not, it's not really Smash Bros, because I don't think it's a couple of plenty characters. But you can lately, the one of the characters you can get. I think that's, that's right anyway. I think there are a new Worms game. The, like artillery 2D combat game. Yeah, everyone knows for Worms. It's, Apparently they're in that game too. That's what I'm Yeah, there hasn't been any news on what Platonic's working on next, but I think there's a officially licensed comic book that they're kickstarting. I don't know if it's Platonic or if they just gave, gave someone else permission to do it. Yeah, apparently they're kickstarting a new comic, but the artwork for that looks really good. I'll definitely have to read that sometime when it comes out. Guess it'll continue in verse. Yeah. 
Wait, is this thing going? Yeah, it'll probably be like another hour long. I wait. If I let it wait, we can just wait. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna wrap it up. But anyway, oh yeah. So, I guess that was ukulele. Um, it's been fun to play this game. It's like a fair play to, I think. <laughs> Definitely my best time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.